Hey everyone, welcome back to another Godzilla Battleline video. And today I wanted to go over what I believe is the order that you should be buying the items in the event shop. And I will go over my reasoning for that. So, Toho has said in the blog that there's only 4,000 of the EP, which is the event points, available this go around. The second half of this event will become available on the 25th of October, and until then, we don't have access, presumably, to all the missions and all of the rewards. So, if you want to make the most out of your tokens as possible, let me tell you what I think you should be spending your tokens on. And so, I think that maybe, you know, you have different wants and needs, you know, than what I want for the game. But I'm going to go over what I think is the optimal path regardless, right? So, first of all... You should be getting Des Ghidorah for 1,500 points. Des Ghidorah is only available from the event and the stores. If you don't buy Des Ghidorah this go-around, it might be a month until you can get him again. We don't know if Des Ghidorah is going to get a re-up in the shop when the second part of this event comes around. So for right now, I'm acting as if there's only one Des Ghidorah for the month of October. I would buy Des Ghidorah first. Second, for 500 p tokens or event points or whatever you can get jet jaguar this is relatively cheap for a four star unit this is easy to get this is only a few missions to grind so i think the first two things you should absolutely be buying are desgadora and jet jaguar now this is where it becomes more of a want and need situation right you don't want the event tokens and the g tokens these are traps so for one 100 points you get one event ticket but for 150 gems you get all of your event tickets refreshed this is a trap it is much more efficient if you're going to refresh your tokens anyway use your gems if you don't want to use your gems to refresh then don't refresh because this is just a money sink right here the g tokens you can buy it 10 times for 50 I mean, it sounds good on paper. If you need tokens, sure, spend the 50, but this is honestly not very important. And by the time you spent, you know, if you buy all 10 packs of these, it's I don't think it's worth it. These two on the top, definitely not it. You should not be trying to get these two. Next, we have three cosmetics. We have a title, we have an icon, and we have a poster, and then we have the legendary map. If you are at all concerned with collecting all of the cosmetics you possibly can in this game, do not buy the legendary map, okay? There's only 4,000 event tokens in this half of the event. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want Des Ghidorah, then Jet Jaguar, and then the title icon and the custom object. That's going to leave you with what is the custom object worth? It's uh, 300 points, I think. So Des Ghidorah and Jet Jaguar combined is 2,000. And then the title is 200, the icon is 300, and then I think this is 300 as well. So that's going to spend, you're going to be spending 200 and, or I'm sorry, 2,800 tickets. So you're going to end the event, right, by the time the reset happens with 1,200 tokens. I think that math is correct. But you see what I'm saying. You'll have a lot of tokens left over, right? Yeah, 1,200 I think is correct. So you'll have a lot of tokens left over, but the legendary expedition map is 2,000 points. That's half of the total points you could possibly earn in this event. If you buy this legendary expedition map, then you can only real you can I mean you can buy the cosmetics, but then you can't buy Des Ghidorah. If you buy, you can buy the legendary expedition map, and you can buy Des Ghidorah. And then you can buy Jet Jaguar, but then you can't get the custom objects. If the custom objects are something that you really want, do not buy the legendary map. If you're a new player, you don't care about the, these objects at all. You can, I mean, you can go ahead and buy the legendary map. I'm not telling you not to buy the legendary map, but in my eyes, that map is a sinkhole. It's going to eat 2,000 of your tokens, and it could give you like a Mothra or a Batra or a 4-star that you're going to be able to get from the refreshes in the shop. And remember, Desgadora cannot be obtained from this map. 
Desgadora is not in this map. So if you're trying to bank on maybe gambling and getting a level 2 Desgadora, it ain't happening, Chief. You're not going to do it. In my opinion, the optimal way to get all of these items is Desgadora first, then Jet Jaguar, then the title, the icon, and the custom object. I'm not getting this Legendary Expedition map. Secondly, because we don't know what rewards are going to be added in the second half of this event. If they do re-up on Desgadora, right? I want to be prepared. I'll only be a couple hundred tokens away from my second Desgadora, if that's true. Or, you know, I might need one more Jet Jaguar piece to get into level 8, right? I can maybe get another Jet Jaguar piece. I have a few of these tokens saved up at the moment, right? But we don't know what the rewards are going to be next. But these are the re rewards we have now. And I really don't think that the Legendary map is worth it. It's definitely a sinkhole. Same with the event tickets and the G tokens. Those are just wasting your tokens. Because you're going to get... You get 1,500 G tokens, right? But you're going to get that much anyway from just grinding the event over and over every day. You're going to get a lot of G tokens. And then the events I already talked about, it's better to use your gems than use your tickets. Or use your points on these tickets. But I just want to make it clear, the legendary map eats up half of your total points you can possibly earn for this event. So that's just something to be aware of. I'm not going to stop you from getting the legendary map, but just know you can't collect everything. You know, if you buy the legendary map, you're going to be losing something. If you bought the legendary map and then the title and then the icon, you can't buy Desgadora. You're not going to have enough. So that's what that's my thoughts. And I see a lot of people on uh, Reddit and Facebook and Discord are talking about what they want to buy and they want to buy it all. I just want to make it clear that it is a crunch. You only have 4,000 tokens, so you got to use that wisely. And I think your best decision is to spend half of it on Desgadora and then Jet Jaguar. And the remaining half can be on whatever you want. But I just wanted to make it clear to you guys how it works and all of that. So if this was helpful at all for planning on how to spend your tokens, let me know. I know the event has been going on for a little while at this point. So you might have already, it might be too late, but you might be saving your token still. You might be on the fence. You might still be grinding. So hopefully this helps you. And if you're a new player and you just started, hopefully this helps you too. I'll catch you on the next one. And for the second half of the event, I'll probably do this again if there are more rewards. So thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.